In this lesson, we will learn how to enter data into a form in Access. When you enter data into a form in Access, you may be editing data, you may be entering a new record, and we'll do both of those items. When I'm looking at this particular form, I have Michelle King selected. She is record number one in the employees table. And I want you to take note of that because after we make an edit, we're going to go to the table and see if the table was updated as well. So in my first example, Michelle has a new last name. So I am making an edit here. I'm going to go ahead and click inside the form and just select King, press backspace or delete on the keyboard. And for a moment, I would like you to notice that there is a little icon on the top left corner that allows you to see that you are in edit mode. So we saw this when we were editing tables and creating changes to records. So hopefully that looks familiar to you. And until that icon is gone, whatever you are entering into the record is not actually saved into the database yet. Okay, so this lets me know I'm in edit mode. Let's keep an eye on this. And in the last name area, we'll go ahead and change her last name to Newt. So I'm going to type in N-E-W-T. That's Michelle Newt. And I'm done with this record. So what I can do is a couple items here. If I press tab all the way through, and that's a lot of time, but if I press it all the way through, it goes to the next record. And it looks like my change has been saved. So at the bottom here, if I go to the previous record, you'll see that has been changed. Let me go ahead and cue that up again. So I'm going to click inside last name for Michelle Newt. Maybe I misspelled her last name. So this time I'm going to backspace and I see I'm in edit mode again and I'm going to spell it N-U-T-E like this. Okay, so again, I changed a record and I am in edit mode. So if I right click the tab of the form, I can choose save and that's going to save it as well and eliminates the need for me to press tab so many times. Now imagine this, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick change. Maybe work got busy for you and you notice it actually is N-E-W-T. Make the quick change and then you try to close the form. I'm going to go all the way to the right here and just click close. I'm going to reopen up form employees and it looks like it was saved here as well. Okay, this doesn't always happen. So make sure that if you are in edit mode, you're familiar with the environment of the form that you're in. And also, if you are not able to save that value, Access should prompt you with a window that says that record could not be saved and it will guide you through the next few steps. So make sure you keep an eye on the changes that you make. Now let's look at our table. So I made a change in form employees. I'm gonna open up table employees and I see right here instant update on employee number one to how I edited it. Just to drive home the point a little further from here I'm going to change Michelle's last name one more time. It's actually Nelson. Her last name is actually Nelson. So I'm going to type in Michelle Nelson. I see that I'm in edit mode here and just out of habit I like to click save or click inside another field. I really like to see that edit icon gone. After I make the change to the table, I'm going to go to form employees and I'll see Nelson instantly for Michelle. Now that we know how to edit values in a form and know that when we make the change, it will be reflected in the table. Let's go ahead and look at how to add a new record in a form. At the very bottom where the record navigator is, go ahead and select the new blank record icon. That's going to be the arrow with the starburst coming out of it. And once you do, you'll see that you are in a new record. I'm going to go ahead and just fill out the information here. I also know the structure of this form. So the employee ID is going to be assigned for me. It's an auto number field. So starting last name, I'll go ahead and fill out the values. And as I complete the values, I can press tab and I can press shift tab. If I type in the last name and then press tab, it's going to take me to the first name field. So here I'll go ahead and type Sally, Sally Lee. And then I'm going to press shift tab just to demonstrate that you can go to the previous record using that method. 
You can also just use the standard arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay, so the few ways to navigate. So up and down, left and right arrows. All right, let me go ahead and complete the email address. Okay, so I'm at my last value here, which is location ID. And I'm going to go ahead and type in one. And I can see that I'm still in edit mode. And we've been talking about that throughout this lesson here. So just one quick shortcut. If you want to press control S for save, that's another way to save the record. And you'll see that edit icon is gone. Okay. Now I want to show you that if I go to table employees, here is Lee Sally, the new record that you've added. So even new records are instantly updated. I'm going to go back to the form employees and I just want to show you a couple windows that might be helpful. For example, if you had an employee ID field that was left blank and then you try to save it, control S, it will tell you that you must enter a value in table employees employee ID field. So this is letting me know that I have to generate the unique ID for that value. There's no auto number. So I'm going to click OK and return my value of 8. But also down here for location ID, I do not have a location 6. But I'm going to go ahead and just type that in. And locations, by the way, are established in my table locations. So if I open it up, I can show you there's just two of them. Okay. So back to my form. If I type in location 6 and then save the form, Control S, you'll get a window that says you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in table locations. So as you're working with entering new records into forms and tables, beware of some of these windows. And a lot of times with a new window, we're tempted to just close them, but they are extremely helpful. I'm going to click OK. And if I got that window, I would do exactly what I demonstrated. I would see what's wrong with location 6. And I'll realize there is no location 6, so maybe I need to quickly create one if I need a new one. But in my instance, I'm going to go back to Form Employees and just change the location to 1. Then press Control S, and that will save my new record. And this completes our lesson on how to enter data and create new records into a form.